Hello and welcome to Gearock Farms. It's another uh, typical Wisconsin spring day today. We've had uh, some sleet on and off all morning and we were gonna go do some fencing this afternoon but with the sleet it's it's kind of one of them deals where it's like it's it's not good enough to get in the fields or you know even put fence up you just get soaking wet and it's still cold it's like 35 degrees today and I'm filming this on April 22nd April 22nd and it's like 37 38 degrees today so typical Wisconsin weather but I have an opportunity to go get some more planter parts I don't know necessarily if I'll I'll use them but um, I'm gonna go get them because the price is right this guy is a old co-worker of mine and really nice guy and he kind of said it's whatever I think they're worth I can give them so give them a little bit of money and get some half decent planter boxes but I'm gonna take some measurements first before we head over there make sure they're the, the right size and I also need to make sure that we'll have enough room for our uh, fertilizer auger as we go up and looking at it I think we will but I'm gonna take some measurements make sure that's gonna work and then uh, we'll be good to go I got another eight inches yet before we run out of room. The guy that's got these uh, planter uh, fertilizer box extensions, he had them on a, on a 7,000 as well, but a uh, eight row. So I assume the boxes are the same because instead of three boxes for fertilizer, he had four. So uh, I can't imagine they'd be different, but I figured I'd measure just because. Dad's gonna come with a nice little trip on a cold, snowy spring day. I'm gonna let a couple cows in here that were standing in the barnyard. You want uh, all those brought down? Well, if there's a few that decide you want to just hang out up there, they... Come on, girls! They're ready for spring. They're like, nah. We like pasture. We like being out on the grass. Just have to let them in later, I think. All right, there's a couple of them that decided they, they didn't want to come off a of pasture, so. They want to sit up in the grass that's just fine we'll let them in in an hour or so when we get back but we're gonna head out now and go uh look at these planter boxes this is the scenic food So we figured we'd swing in there. It wasn't too out of the way with our trip back home. So hopefully we see some unique old equipment. At least that's what it looked like online. So we'll see. 4230. Hold case. Hold 520. Hold 
This must have been the main chore tractor here. What is that, a 4010, looks like. Paint's pretty faded. Couple old implements. Nothing too crazy. See how it's offset. A stretch frame. Issues. It's mainly just your your edges. Must have been hooking stumps and rocks. She's beat up, but that's. So you can pull that with the olive oil. Nice manure spreader. Looks like they used to pick corn at one point in time. I didn't see if those were on the auction yet or not. I imagine they'll sell all that stuff down in there. Looks like it's pretty far gone, but who knows? Might be all salvage some of that stuff. 2880 Gale Brown Baler. I'm curious how well those do. If any of you use a Brown Baler like that, let me know how those old Gales do. Even this mixer, that'd be. That'd be something to have. Looks like it hasn't been used for a while, but... This must be for your mineral and stuff. Yeah, it augers it right into the bottom. It's a bit smaller than the Gale 100. Box Pretty new. See these here, you had that 488 and then they had the 492. The difference was the flotation of the header was separate from the rolls. The 488 the whole the whole thing would flex. We had neighbors that would have this one. This is about nine feet I suppose. A lot of feet around when I was Age. Recognize that brand? Equay. I wonder what this is. If that's a, some kind of a tether too, or yeah, just bluffs it's it? Plus. Yeah, it's a tether. Interesting. I seen you looking at this drill. What's that? Well, it's actually like mine, except it's not as nice a shape. And it got a cylinder in it. This must have been some. I don't know if they added them on. Because mine's got that whole mechanical device that bolts in here and here to raise. I could raise up one side at a time. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Kind of dinged up again, but it's this would this would plant for the hobbyists. I mean, yeah, seed waterways or something. It would do stuff. I mean, It'll be interesting to see what everything goes for now that uh, post-COVID kind of settled down. If it doesn't have a tag on it, it probably doesn't sell. That's a 40, 40 20 John Deere, so they'll probably keep that. That's a pretty pretty collectible tractor. My old generator is a wind power. It's small, but that would run a, you know, a smaller business. <laughs>
So there you have it. There are those extensions for the fertilizer boxes. We got four of them. Like I was saying, that guy had them on an eight row. I'm real happy I was able to go pick those up and, and get them, measuring them. I think we're gonna be really close when it comes to fitting our auger and those extensions on the box. But uh, I'm debating if I do that this spring yet or if I leave them because it'd be a bummer to move the auger and, uh, and put those extensions on and then have an issue when I go to run it for the first time and, and have to take stuff apart and you know after I just put all the time and effort into adjusting stuff. So I'm kind of leaning towards making sure it runs before I even bother putting those extensions on because if I put those extensions on, more than likely I'll just fill up the fertilizer boxes and then if something breaks, then I've got double the fertilizer in there. So maybe off the bat, take her easier and, and just do a, a trial run first before I put those on. But it shouldn't take much. There's just a couple bolts on the back side of this uh, bracket. And then might be all uh, two, three guys push slide it up on that and then bolt it down again or even if we have to do a chain in the middle with a skid steer and pick the whole auger up just enough to where it still sits on the bracket nice and we can fit the extensions underneath and they just slide right in there we'd have to retie down our straps that should work out pretty nice they look like they'll fit they look like they're the same size it'll just be kind of tight with our auger once we get that up and out of the way but probably gonna hold off on that for this spring we'll see maybe if i get a rain day here i'll get get crazy about that but uh, back to that auction that was nice stopping in there that auction i think is going to open up for bidding online in two three days i'm really interested to see what some of that stuff brings that older equipment that smaller equipment that's uh definitely ideal for a guy getting started there's nothing on that auction that i really have a an eye on specifically but I'm interested to see what all the old John Deere's bring now that the used equipment craze kind of level out here after COVID it'll be interesting to see what those tractors bring um, some of the nicer stuff there like that box spreader that'd be interesting to see what that brings that looked like it was in pretty decent shape the drill the mixer the the rakes all that stuff it, it, I'd be real interested to know what it brings and also make sure to leave comments down below what you guys think of those gale round balers those that of you that know something about them because i imagine they got to be pretty decent price for uh for someone that would want to buy a used baler like that i'd be interested to know how much that's going to bring and and what kind of job they do it looked like he had a lot of round bales around there looked like a really nice farm back in the day i hope uh, someone's going to keep farming or doing something there because it looked like a really sharp farm tucked back in the valley beautiful place i'd be interested to know what's what's going on there with the land hope hopefully somebody keeps that going or rents it or something it was a nice day getting off the farm with you guys we're happy to bring you guys along with us hopefully soon we're in the fields we're kind of waiting for the weather the break like everybody else in our area i'm sure by the time this video comes out we'll be full at her hitting her hard and uh, we wish all of you luck as well. Those of you that are gonna be planting this spring or doing any kind of field work or gardening or anything outdoors, we wish you guys luck and hopefully you get the best weather for your situation when you need it. It's been a real interesting spring so far in the North Midwest or maybe the whole Midwest in general. It's, uh, it's definitely been a later spring being uh, almost the end of April here and it's still 35, 40 degrees is a high. We're gonna end off the video here. Thank you for coming along with us. Give us your opinions, what you know about all that equipment. And those of you that have put extensions on your planter, if you like them, don't like them, you know, th did you notice a big difference carrying around the extra weight for the fertilizer? And you know, did it, was it harder on your tractor? I think they'll be just fine, but let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. I love reading them. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Also, make sure to like the video. We enjoy seeing people hitting that thumbs up button. And uh, you can check us out on all our social media pages if you want to see more of us. And if you ever wanted to send us mail, we do have a P.O. box down in the description below. But that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. And make sure to check out our other videos.